affect your brain's buying decisions. Although both these brands of detergent will likely clean your clothes, you probably noticed more bottles missing from the shelf on the right. It's a subtle but valuable cue to your brain that since other people bought this brand, why shouldn't you? As for the toothpaste, we're guessing most of you opted for the best-selling brand simply because the extra sticker reassured your brain that you can't go wrong following the group consensus. Now, what about these laptops? Normally, we're guessing most people would do their research before making such a big purchase. But we bet you chose this one simply because it stands out. Why? Well, when it comes to purchases like soap or toothpaste, conforming to what the group buys seems safe and convenient. But when it comes to electronics, clothes, and cars, products that display your personal taste, advertisers know that anti-conformity can be a big plus to buyers looking to stand out from the crowd or think different, as they say. And to prove how quickly your brain can spot who fits in and who sticks out, let's check in with our friends in the Pirate Battalion Army ROTC. Instead of seeing this as a group of four individuals, you saw them as one well-oiled unit. But what happens if we add just one more member who isn't quite on the same page? Go, go, go! Even though four men were all doing the exact same thing, chances are you couldn't help but notice my friend on the end. Which just goes to show, not all conformity is bad. So how about you? Are you more of a conformist who'd rather play it safe? Or are you a rebel who likes to stand out from the crowd? The truth is, we're all a bit of both. And while conformity isn't always bad, you have to know where to draw the line. Would you rather stand alone and be right, or follow the group and be wrong? The answer might seem obvious, but the truth just may surprise you. The rules of this game are simple. Over here, we've drawn a line. And over here, we've drawn three lines. A, B, and C. Only one of these three lines is an exact match for the first line. Can you figure out which one it is? Got it? Did you say B? Simple enough, right? Or is it? Try one more round with a different version that we're showing our volunteers. You've got to decide which one of these three straight lines is the same length as this first card. So, where do you stand on this one? A, B, or C? Before you decide, take a look at what our volunteers picked. What's your choice? It's A. You think it's A? I think so. OK, go to A. 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 It's A. Definitely A. Yeah? Yeah. OK. I'm going with A. OK. The answer seems obvious, right? Mm. Or is it? Uh... Stick around. But first, it's time for a brain booster, driven by Acura. How much of your body's total energy does your brain consume? A, 20%, B, 10%, C, 3%. The answer when we come back. Did you figure out our brain booster? How much of your body's total energy does your brain consume? The answer is A. The amount of blood that flows through your brain in just one minute is equal to three full soda cans. Turns out your brain packs quite a punch. We're on the deck of the USS Intrepid conducting an experiment, and the rules of the game couldn't be simpler. You've got to decide which one of these three straight lines is the same length as this first card. Take a look for yourself. Think you've got it? Before we reveal the answer, we'll show you where these people stand. I think it's A. 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 It's A. Yeah, I'm gonna go with A. It looks like everyone is going with A. Definitely A. Do they know something you don't? What do you think? Take one last look. Are you going with these people who all picked A? Or did you choose to go with B or C? Time's up. Got your pick? <laughs> 